Hey there, guys. Welcome back to United Brothers. My name is Robert. I'm David. And uh, woo, you got a new plane. I got a, I got a new jet. <laughs> you did. Uh, this looks very similar to one we did a little bit ago. Yeah, this is the Habu SS. <laughs> SS. SS. Super Sport. Heck yeah. So, yeah. Uh, wow, what's the motor size on this guy? Battery, all that. This is a 50 mil fan. Okay. Um, 1300 to 2200 three cell. Oh, okay, cool. Um, the EST can take a four cell, but the motor wouldn't like it. Okay, so basically, <laughs> probably just stay around threes. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm going to do at least. Okay. Um, I'm hoping this one doesn't have the same problem the big one did, needing a 50C. Oh, true. Because all I have is 30s. So true. Yep. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see what happens. See if so. he yells at me the entire time. Um, so is this a pretty new product? It's been out for a couple months. Okay, okay. Um, I've been wanting it since it ever came out, and it just went on sale. So. Okay, so uh, what did this guy cost you? Uh, this is the plug and play for 180 Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Or the uh, ready to fly for like 220 I believe. That's really not bad at all no, for something no. this size. They just dropped it 20 bucks too. So. The, the last 50 mil jet we did was actually that F-18 from yeah. Bobby King, which was last year. Yeah, so yeah. it's be cool to have a second one on here. Yeah, so yeah, 50 mil is kind of a rare size. So yeah. if it flies anything like the big one, uh, it's going to be perfect. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Great. Um, so you said this one today, just because the receiver you have, there's no safe and then no ACRX on this one nope, right now, right? Nope, just a normal okay. six channel receiver. Cool. Um, I couldn't set it up. It does have reverse. Okay. I couldn't set it up today. Um, he did get the box for it, so if you guys want to see like a little follow-up video sometime, we can show that. But yeah, if you're interested. Yeah, if you're yeah. interested, yeah. But yeah. it really wouldn't do you any good flying, so. <laughs> no, just for stopping. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's a great price point. I'm, I'm excited to see this thing fly. Yeah. So let's get to it. All right, let's do it. All right, about to take off here. Um, we're taking off this way because there's those pole vaulting things in the way. Uh -huh. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Hey, just fly through them. Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. <laughs> um, all right, a nervous, so, but I think it'll be just fine. So, uh, so you said this was a um, three cell. What size three cell is this? Thirteen hundred. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any twenty twos today. Okay, so um, just thirteen hundred uh, three cell. That, basically, the lightest battery there is. Uh, thirteen hundred milliamp, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. All right, man. Take my crap. You'll love it. You know you will. Ready here. Yep. All right, man. Probably take off in no time, I hope. Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be overpowered for what it is. There's no wind at all, so it doesn't matter which No, way. yeah, it's a really nice time right now to fly, so. Alrighty. Everything should be good. Okay. Alright, yeah. man, have some fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. No, no problem. Get over here. Oh, there's no AS3X in this thing. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna move around a little bit by the wind. A little bit. Not bad though. Uh -oh. Let's back here a little bit. Okay. First impressions? This thing's on rails. Yeah, and this is without AS3X. Yeah, so. you can tell it's wobbling a little bit. Yeah. You can tell it does not have it. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. But if you're a little experienced, it'd be no problem. Yeah. So. Yeah. And the controller is not beeping at you? because uh, I'm not going full throttle, yeah. Oh, but it was, okay, <laughs> so. I was taking off, yeah, it definitely was. So same problem, probably need a higher C rating. Yeah, Okay. Definitely. I will say that's getting a little annoying these days, though. Yeah, but duck the fans do take a lot more power than yeah. the propeller planes do. Well, you just think they would recommend the right battery? <laughs> You'd think so. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, if anyone that has been on our channel long enough, you guys saw the other Habu we did, the larger one, same problem as well. I'm a little bit below half throttle here. Okay. Just it does great at low speed though. Well, okay. Definitely not dipping it up. No. <laughs> Just a nice little park flyer though. Yeah. Let's try the stall. Okay. I'm go away from this here. Okay. Pull up. Okay. Pull back. That is not bad at all. Could be the wind doing that. But. Yeah, I was like, that's not bad at all. No. I am actually really impressed. I mean, that's without AS3X or anything. That's not bad at all for a jet. Yeah. Not bad at all. Mm hmm. Cheeky roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it loves that. <laughs> Why not? Nope. <laughs> Just leave it on there the whole time. The viewers would love it. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah, the whole time. Okay. This is actually a lot quieter than I thought it'd be. Yeah. Pretty quick, too. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that F-18 we did last year was actually quite a bit louder than this one. Yeah. And it was 50 mil as well, so I think this one's probably a lot better balanced. <laughs> backing up so the camera can see me. Yeah. You probably <laughs> did a little bit. They don't want to see just Robert's massive outline. Just flannel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Heck yeah, it does. Woohoo! I will say, you definitely need to do another flight. This thing's awesome. Oh, yeah. A little bit of wind up there. Okay. Trees are blocking for up here. I'm gonna zoom in on you a little bit pretty far out there. I love this thing, man. No, that's awesome. I, I figured you would. It's just gonna be a small version of the other one you already love, so. I will say they have definitely gotten their game down pretty well for uh, making smaller versions of their already really successful planes. <laughs> I'm a sucker for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Timber X. Like literally the last Ooh. five years, if they come out with a smaller version of the plane he already has, he gets it. <laughs> every time, every That's time. Good. Yep. I love it. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. Not bad. I think it'd be a little easier if you had more power though. Yeah, if I had more... Uh, you have to worry about the controller barking at you. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just saying about half throttle and it's happy. So, let's say it had the AS3X in safe mode. Would you say a good first little jet or maybe a little bit like more of an intermediate one? I'd say probably second. Okay. Because the smaller they are, the twitchier they are. True. And the uh, harder they are to fly. True. So, i definitely say second at least. Okay. I would say you could definitely get into this a lot faster than like that 14 we did the last time, but... Yeah. <laughs> you're in, you're having fun with this thing. Oh yeah. Something yep. I'm no. Oh, that's probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it didn't break anything. <laughs> okay. It's stout. Man, that thing just looks so cool. Yeah. Well, the controller's starting to yell at me about half throttles. So okay. I'm trying to bring it in somehow. Here. Okay. Uh, you probably could land past the pole vaults, most likely. I think I could. Okay. Or if anything, I mean, you do have soft snow, you can put it down on too if you have to. A little further, around. Okay. This thing probably carries just like a big one. Probably, yeah, most likely. Probably just need like, a, like not even a touch of throttle. Careful. Good job, dude. Oh, nope. <laughs> that's, I mean, still, you didn't hit the pole vaults, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so you see all those things over there? They were over here, but now we moved them. Now he actually has a runway. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> so now we're gonna take off that way. <laughs> Turn me around here. Oh, and then uh, for CG oh. with these 1300s, you just have the battery all the way in the front of the nose, right? All the way to the front, yeah. Okay. Uh, 2200 will probably take off that whole bay. Okay, okay. So, so basically, you have the smaller battery, just put it all the way forward. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, man. Uh, you might want to back up a little bit, though. Oh, for that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Clear it one way three. Yeah. <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> what do you mean? Right here. Look. Yep. All right, man. Let's see it. That was a very... Oh, that was awesome. Scale takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was a very aggressive zoom I just did. That was pretty funny. Good, good. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good, though, dude. I know, you can really tell what's top and bottom. Oh yeah, they did a really good job with the color scheme. Yeah, we're kind of in a dusk, very cloudy setting right now. So. No lights or anything. Oh, you forgot to reset your timer. Hey, you pulled a Robert, I'm proud of you. I just reset it. <laughs> <laughs> Always nags me that, make sure you reset your timer. <laughs> These new planes, you don't need a timer. No, yeah. It yells at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Timers are kind of outdated now. You don't have to gamble. Uh, let's see what this guy can do. It's funny, when I first started flying, because I had a controller that didn't have a timer, you'd have to just hold out a timer on your phone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> well, I can tell you're having fun. Yeah. Isn't some inverted for you guys. Really careful that tip solo. See the wings walk or uh, uh, wiggling back and forth a little bit. Oh, okay. Man, no effort for you at all. You are, you're impressive. I'm practicing. Oh yeah. No, that's <laughs> awesome. So slow. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even look natural. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna say I have been very impressed with the Haboos from Horizon Hobby lately. Oh, I love it. I mean, they're just so docile, but then yet yeah, they're not like they're not as intimidating as like a normal jet would be. They're not a Widowmaker. No, not at, not at all. all. Not at all. Uh, my first larger size jet I did was sketchy. That was like a long time ago, but this thing is just nine day difference from like that kind of stuff. It's on rails. Oh yeah. Fly by here. Okay. 
That looks so cool, dude. <laughs> oh man, I got a nice little shot of the moon in the background too. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you feel comfortable. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a flight doing touch. Yeah. Oh man, you're good. You're good. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there go. It carries just like the big one. It does. It just does not want to come down. That's what I love about these. They just they made the wings so massive on them that they just they fly almost kind of like a prop plane in a way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not infinite up. Nope. I think it's got more than adequate power, though, okay. if it battery wasn't barking at us. Yeah, if I had a 50 in there, it would not be heavy. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Can't stay full throttle, but... No. You can have a little couple of moments with it, though. Yeah. Better than the, uh, the bigger one. So just because I'm not as familiar with it, let's say you're to leave this on full throttle with the thing going off, would it eventually just stop? Yeah. Like with the Okay, so you would lose throttle. So it pretty much thinks the battery's dead because the voltage is sagging below... Uh, like a voltage, low voltage cutoff. Oh, okay, okay. Even though the battery's fully charged, the battery can't put out as much power. Is that, is that thing thinks it should be? Uh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I'm just not as familiar because I've only had like one or two, like actually I've only had one airplane myself with this so far. Okay. So I was kind of wondering if you could like just keep it in full throttle, even with it beeping, but like you said, it eventually cut out on you. Yeah. Like I was holding it for a couple seconds, just pulling up and it started losing throttle. Okay. So it thinks the battery's dead. Sweet, Dude, I love it, man. Just watching you. I think they definitely did their homework once again. So. Oh yeah. This is great. I love it. No, they. All versions of the big planes I have. Oh no! <laughs> like literally every single one that's come out that you, you have already. I mean, can you imagine they came out with a small Draco? Ooh. I would instantly. There's an idea, and if you guys make that, I want a free one. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you want a free one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to pay me copyrights. I just want a free one. <laughs> Don't gotta pay me for the idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's been more than plenty of fans that have asked for that. <laughs> Bad is barking at me, so I'm. All right, Baron. Okay. Once it gets about half throttle, I just. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it, you'd have a little bit longer flight times with better batteries. So. The same. Okay, and it just carries and carries and carries. Probably a little bit of flaring too. I'm assuming. Barely. Okay. Yep. Man. <laughs> oh. -ho. <laughs> I was like, I was about to be like, I know you hate me. I know I've made you mad in the past, but no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, this thing's awesome. I love it so much. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely worth the money. Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Um, why do you think we give our final thoughts? I think so. Let's do it. Alrighty, so uh, that was that was sick. This thing's like, awesome. That thing's awesome. I love it so much. <laughs> uh, they definitely did their homework. This thing flew just as well as your larger scale one does. Definitely. And uh, I think the price is great. Yeah. So yeah, 180 bucks uh, plug and play, and then about 220 for buy and play. Yeah, exactly. So uh, so we flew our stay on no Ace 3X, no safe mode. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys saw it had very good flight characteristics. I was yep. really impressed with the stall. Stall's myself. very predictable. Yep. Yep. Doesn't tip stall on you. Uh, my flown jets kind of similar in the same design, but they weren't as well developed. So you know, when you get too slow, they would just drop on you, which can yeah. be really intimidating for the someone. Widowmaker. Newer. Yeah, this thing's really predictable. Uh, so would you say, you said this would be a good, what, second jet, intermediate jet? Yeah, probably. definitely a second jet, just because okay. smaller size makes it more twitchy. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yep. if we get the, uh, the bind and fly, has safe on it. And AS, so if something so. happened to slip that on real yeah, fast. Exactly. Yeah, um, Yeah, stall was great. It looks like this thing went together really well. Um, yep. It was actually a lot more quiet than I thought it was going to be. Only five screws for the main oh. wing. Uh, okay. The server connection is just hard, just, just clips in there, basically. Okay. There's no um, is this guy a uh, four or six channel receiver that you need to run for this? Uh, four minimum. Okay. You can throw a six in there if you want reverse. Okay. Um, cool. So Does that steerable nose channel. wheel too? Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. That just makes it your rudder. Yeah. Um, two screws for the tail and then a little plastic piece taped on just to hold everything together. Yeah. Okay. Um, just like we want. Uh, anything you didn't like in the flight at all? Uh, no. Okay. No. Yeah. I mean, you held it. I mean, you saw we did a whole circle inverter yeah. too. So. They definitely did their homework with it. Oh, yeah. Definitely went through a lot of testing and it's great. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, I, I personally myself think I, I didn't fly it myself, but I think this thing deserves a solid ten. I, I think, think it so did too. exactly what it promises. It's a great price. Yeah. I mean, the size is actually pretty awesome. And mm -hmm. uh, the nice thing with this guy is uh, the only thing we would say though is make sure you upgrade to at least 50C batteries. Yeah. yeah. Same problem as the larger one. They for some reason they keep recommending these batteries are just too small. <laughs> yeah. So. You can't go full throttle for long without your controller beeping at you. Yeah. Yep. And if you do, then it'll start cutting throttle back just to. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. But, so, um, so definitely batteries. invest in 50Cs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Batteries aren't expensive. Uh, very common size battery, 2200, yep. 1300. Yep. Yep. A lot of people have those. Yep. So, yeah, uh, much. I personally myself, if this is gonna be like your second jet, I get the smaller one because yep. the batteries are like half the cost of the big one. Right. So. Exactly. And you don't need as as much room to fly yeah, it. So. Exactly. Yeah. 
Alrighty, well this thing got a solid 10. Uh, we have loved these Haboos from Horizon Hobby lately, so if they keep coming out with smaller versions of your planes, we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep getting them. Oh yeah, definitely. They better come out the Draco Horizon. Draco. Exactly, yep. Small Draco. Like, like, like we said, we don't need any you know, compensation for the idea, but I wouldn't mind a free one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Sponsors, please. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty guys, well if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing, and also make sure you tap the bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Yeah. We have a Patreon, <laughs> we do cool skits and uh, bloopers, uh -huh. and we also have um, sneak peeks to our DIY Wise graphic flies. Yep, yep. You guys um, get to see the plane a little early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Next one's a doozy. Oh, <laughs> I don't like the memories. Of you guys will see. That's great. It was pretty good. <laughs> anyway. Alrighty, guys. Well, until next time. My name is Robert. I'm David. See you guys around. Bye. Bye.